I mean, this guy sent photos of himself performing oral sex on another man to somebody he thought was 13. And like so many of the other men... Chris, I'm going to need you to rewind that statement back. He what? I mean, this guy sent photos of himself performing oral sex on another man to somebody he thought was 13. And like... That's a loaded statement right there. And he's a rabbi? I'm not quite sure. What is a rabbi? I know it's someone a part of the church, but I don't know what exactly a rabbi is. Let me see. Rab rabbi. A Jewish scholar, teacher, especially one who studies or teaches Jewish law. Okay. Okay. Got you. But that's, now that is sick. This guy was a prominent member of society. Or so you assume because of the title. Let's watch and unpack. Hello? Hi. Hey, hold one second. I gotta change my shirt. Yeah. Okay. It's still day. Oh my gosh. Look at him. Look at him smiling and all, all nervous and tee hee hee. Trying to meet a 13 year old boy. That's disgusting. I gotta ask, you still gonna be up for tonight after seeing your girlfriend? We'll see. <laughs> the level of comfort His we girlfriend. see by watching these guys before I have my interaction says to me they're either very comfortable taking part in this activity or they've done it before. My thing is, why? Well, let me let Or they've Chris spent speak. so much time chatting online with someone they think is a teen that they don't believe there's any danger at all. Now, earlier in the chat, he had talked about going out to dinner with his girlfriend and then perhaps coming over to meet the boy after that. And just as he finishes that ha ha ha, he turns around and I walk into the room. And <laughs> you see this. And we're going to see that. Oh, stop. And we're going to see that in just a minute. But the like, look, listen, like you would think this is his house or he's going to like his best friend's house to have a, a good time. How he just walking around laughing. So how can I help? Go ahead, have a seat. <laughs> this is gold. This is why I watch Chris Hansen. Look at this man's face. Let's rewind back to him, old Kiki Kian. Look, 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 look at him, oh, oh, just having a good time, ki he he Trying to have relations with a 13-year-old boy, and then look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Bro, this is what I want to see right here. This, this level of disturbance that they feel, multiply that by 50. And that is us watching these types of videos, bro. Have a seat, sir. I suggest you sit down. <laughs> and take your hands out of your pockets, please. <laughs> Bro, look! <laughs> Did you <laughs> Did you see the guy? Bro, the emotion with his face. Look at his face right now. When he was standing there contemplating. Like, bro, he is like, I didn't really fucked up. Which he did. Look at him. What are you doing here? What? Why don't you tell me what your plan was? I don't want to be. Yeah, this isn't good. It's not good. That's kind of an understatement, isn't it? Very much so, Chris. Um, can I know who you are, please? No. I want to know a little bit more about why you were here first time. Huh? Are you the police? Who the hell are you? Are you? Who do you think you are coming into a house to meet a 13 year old boy and do sexual relations with a 13 year old boy? Chris Hansen's coming to confront you and you have the audacity. Oh, well, he doesn't know it's Chris Hansen yet, but you have the audacity? To look him in the eye and say, may I see some identification? Sir, I think you're delusional. Now, I don't want to lie to him, but I don't want to lie to I would have lied to him. Dateline NBC just yet. Well, I'm happy to tell you who I am, but I also want to go over some of this chat log with you. Please do. 
It appears from this that you were setting up a meeting with a 13-year-old boy. Okay, you're only 13. Yep, 13. For a 13-year-old, you handle yourself pretty well. Yes, you are very cute, and when boys are that cute, they usually look like their moms. What? So you... That's a random statement to say. Pretty much thought you were coming here to meet a 13-year-old boy named Conrad. Do you have anything to say for yourself? Do you? I like sucking and being sucked. I like to kiss. What do you do for a living? A rabbi. A rabbi. Now, presumably, you counsel families and children in your position as a rabbi. Sure. Children. Mm. Someone needs to go check on those children. Oh, my goodness. What are you doing as a, a man of God, as a rabbi, in this house, yeah. trying I'm to meet a 13-year-old boy? I'm really... I, I, I don't want to do anything that's going to further make you angry. I'm not angry. angry. You're coming across in a very angry and authoritative sense. Bro, you are here to meet a 13 year old boy. He's guys, you are witnessing right now firsthand. <laughs> you are witnessing right now firsthand grade a gaslighting like he is really trying to sit here after chris hansen has transcripts has freaking transcripts of conversation with you trying to have sexual relations with a 13 year old boy and you're gonna be like i i don't want to further upset you or anger you so like bro do you want it i Bro, you are, <laughs> this is crazy. You are in no, none, absolutely zero position to be trying to do negotiation tactics here. Legit trying to gaslight this man. Bro, you are in no position. And you sent a house, and? a house you chose to go at because you wanted to have relations with a 13 year old boy. You Duh. sent pornographic pictures through the mail. Okay, that's a federal offense right there. Through the mail? Oh, I'm, this had to have been the, I know this is like the early 2000s, whoever, but people were that bold to think like their parents wouldn't see it? Like, through the mail like you had to go take those photos from somewhere put it in an envelope pay go to the post office and pay to get a postal stamp to send it to a 13 year old boy and then you have the audacity to try to sit here and gaslight like chris hansen of all people You've never done this before. Why is he talking like Chris Hansen is slow? You know, because I hear that a lot. You sh Did you see that? He's done this before. He, one, he didn't answer it too. When he said, oh, so you never done this before? He was like, like, either let me come up with a lie or let me not say anything to incriminate myself. I don't know why the men who come to these things, I do remember this, why they come to the sting be like, oh, this is my first time. Who gives a shit if it's your first time? Like, bro. Like, but look, watch, watch. You've never done this before. You know, because I hear that a lot. You see a reaction on his face. Yes! And that pretty much seals the deal. He wants to know right then and there oh. who I am. And so I tell him. <laughs> okay, Chris. I'm more than happy to tell you who I am. I am Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC, and we're doing a story on computer predators. Oh, no. Come on, guy. Oh, my God. You don't want to touch anybody. You don't want to. 
It was really one of the only times. Do you see him losing his mind right now? What was that whole sequence? Was he trying to like assault them? You don't want to. You don't want to touch anybody. You don't want to. It was really one of the only times. What was the? the time, really. What was that? The, only the hand in front of the face thing. Does he? <laughs> does he think he's John Cena? What the fuck was that? Does he think that works? That he's just gonna do this and disappear? <laughs> this man really thought he was John Cena. This man really thought he was Jonathan Sination right now. Wait, what are you saying, Chris? I'm sorry. Somebody actually physically lunged at me. Now looking back, I really don't think I was in much danger. <laughs> he was really, Chris is so witty, bro. He was, he's really coming for him right now. Our guy stepped in, took care of it, and diffused the situation. You gotta stop this. Sit down. Why is he death? Why is he death gripping those papers right now? You don't have any you're free to, you're free to leave any time. Any right? The audacity, the delusion, and the audacity, the delacity that this man has, that these people have, to think that they're in any position to be like, oh, you don't have no right. Let me see some identification. Oh, I'm not trying to anger you. Like, delusion plus audacity equals delacity. And this man has delacity times 10 right now because there's no way you, oh my gosh, bro. Look at how he pulled away. We got phone calls from him. <gasps> not him. Calls not him that. slamming the door like a a kid throwing a tantrum. We got phone calls from him for months, and he was downright mean. He blamed us for his situation. Wow. And we offered him the chance to do an interview. Wow. He initially said yes but only if we didn't show the video from the house didn't show his face or identify what he did for a living and obviously what that doesn't even make sense what's the point of them interviewing you if they don't establish to the audience why they interviewing your ass those were conditions we could not meet take randall wolford and oil drilling that was him blaming see that's the delacity i be talking about him blaming them like they dragged him to the house fake those transcripts or something the de the delusion that's ridiculous ridiculous absolutely ridiculous online he calls himself it new to me while chatting with a perverted justice decoy he says he wants to go to lunch and a movie with sequoia a girl who tells him she's 13 mm. he's 52. the next day his intentions go from creepy to pornographic I would come over and make out with you, show you how it feels, let you enjoy me as much as I would you. I love to give oral and feel the sensation for your orgasms. Then, less than two hours after- Is he- Is he serious right now? He shows up at the house. He thinks the girl's mother is- 52? He could be that girl's grandpa. Good, how are you? Good, you? Doing fine. Not him, not him with the handshake trying to be cordial, like this is a business meeting or something. He'll start turning in his head. And how old are you? I'm 49. 49. <laughs> <And> remember... <laughs> Bro, his brain disconnected right there. I'm 40. Nine. Did that work? Like, bro, he was about to say 40 and then realized, oh snap, I don't look 40. I aged like, I don't even know, bro. I don't look 40. Now I can't say that. Now I have to say the highest number before 10. So I don't look crazy. So let me just say nine. Like, bro, what the fuck was that whole sequence, bro? And I don't understand why predators do this. Where they try and like deduct eight, like a year or two or three from the situation, like that'll help. He's 52 and you're gonna say, why are you lying about your age being 49? 
that's only three years. Like that's going to make some huge difference. Or like when predators be like, oh, well, like the decoy was, uh, decoy. When the decoy is like 14, supposed to be 14. And like the investigator would be like, you tried to have sexual relations with the 12 year old girl. And they'll be like, well, um, technically she was 14. Like that makes it any better. I'm sorry. That was a rant. 49. Remember, he's really 52. <laughs> Thank Online, you for the reminder, Chris. Rate, Thank you. 46. Then as he Number helps one. himself to candy, he comes up with this. And I was fully intending on sitting right here until her mother got home. You were? Yes, sir. I was. I was going to explain to her mother how I come to be here. And how are you going to explain it? Oh, give me a break. Give me a break of that Kit Kat bar. No, but you gotta be like, who is buying that? I was coming here to wait for her mother to tell her mother what her daughter is doing. Like, bro, get your ass. And to the mother. By telling her about the chat. You're gonna say hi. I was cruising a chat room. I started uh, talking to your daughter. I asked her if she ever masturbated. I asked her I if, if exactly I could have sex I with her. About it. During the interview, that's wild. Now, uh, Some thank of the time, you, Chris. New to me comes clean. I have a 26 year old daughter. 26 year old daughter. Now, back when she was 13, if a 49 year old came calling, would you be okay with that? No, sure. I wouldn't. So, why is it okay for you to come here? Well, it is. He realizes what he said in his chat speaks for itself. <laughs> I would love to taste you, Sequoia. Show you how good it feels to have a man down on you. <gasps> yes, sir, I did say that. Oh, that's I vile. I would enjoy that very much. While he can't deny... And he has a 26-year-old daughter. His daughter is twice the age of this supposed decoy. And he's talking like this. He sticks with the claim he would have waited for the girl's mother to return. Now, the other problem with your Good Samaritan story is that... that <laughs> your Good Samaritan story. When first came in here. She asked me if I had ever done it on a pool table. I said, yes, a long time ago. What was the next move? Talk to her. Since I wasn't buying that explanation, he tries another Do route. On a pool One table? we've heard repeatedly. He brings up God. This story just oh is not God. Well, Chris, whether it adds up or not, God is my savior. That is the truth. You religious man? Yes, sir. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a faithful man. Yes, sir. Does your faith involve visiting 13-year-old girls or home alone? No, sir, it does not. And I really screwed up big time. Well, wow. There's a couple things you got to know. <laughs> Bro, Chris. Well, oh, I've heard this bullshit 200 times. There's something you got to know. Like, bro. <laughs> oh, my I'm goodness. I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC. And we're doing a story on adults who try Look to at him sweating. Kids online for sex. Now, if there's anything else you'd like to say, Randy. You got anything I'm just going to stick in your phone? <laughs> the police find a condom in his pocket. Oh, his my God. His truck is also thoroughly searched. He owns 14 guns as well. Turns out it, new to me, is a gun enthusiast. That's a list of all the guns and serial numbers. There weren't any guns in the, in the truck. Officers also find naked pictures of the 52-year-old on his digital camera. I really don't know who I am. When you think about this situation as a collective whole, this man needs to be locked up, thrown under three slabs of concrete, then the jail, and then cinder blocks on top of that wherever he's laid under the jail. And that be used as a cafeteria table for the rest of his days. Because I it was so stupid. All the way down here I I was telling myself, yeah, this is this isn't this isn't But right. that didn't yeah. stop you. No, it's definitely not right. Somebody your age going over to a thirteen year old yes. girl's house yes, to have sex. It's pretty, it's pretty low. When you were chatting with her and talking about sexual things, like at one time you talked about wanting to hold her clothes and you'd like to feel her have an orgasm. Yes, sir. Is that true? Yes, sir, I did. At the time you were doing that chat, didn't you intend to have sex with the girl? I guess you could say I did, yes, sir. Okay. I'm guilty as charged. I, I have to ex accept my punishment. 
<laughs> that's my face right there because this is absolutely like bro you have a daughter that's 26 like bro imagine having to make this call to your daughter oh i'm in jail for trying to have sex with a 13 year old girl like bro this these men and then try and like bring faith and religion into it like these men are like like i said they need at least at like i'm talking about bare bone minimum 20 years like i'm talking about the minimum 20 years and then put under the jail because these men are absolutely wild